Well, hello everybody. Uh, today I wanted to show you how I made my, my Callaway gate. I'm not going to actually show you how it runs today, but uh, and I'll do that in the next video. I just want to show you how I engineered it uh, in this particular video. So, what I ended up uh, having, I got myself a 77 millimeter skateboard wheel, and on the circumference of that, that actually worked out to 242 uh, millimeters altogether. Now, what I did was, uh, because it divided so evenly, I actually decided to use, uh, uh, that was 24 centimeters, so I ended up, decided to end up using 48 uh, magnets around the side as opposed to uh, uh, <coughs> 54 that I saw on, online, and that worked out to, uh, you know, exactly one centimeter each. Um, exa pr pretty much, except for that last point, too. Now, what I ended up doing is I ended up printing a, a, um, a piece of paper, and if you can see those lines between uh, that are that are parallel um, are all one centimeter uh, between each other, and then I drew the you know a line, angled line down the middle. I was able to tape this onto onto the skateboard wheel, like so. And then what I was able to do was to put this onto the drill press. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in this light or not, but you can see this particular drill press has actually got a, a laser there. And what I was able to do is create this little jig that would stop everything. Um, what, what I did was uh, you stick a nail and you start the, the hole. When you bring it down, you make sure that uh, before you do it, that the drill press is lining up. One thing about this drill press, um, it's a brand new one and it's designed to go really, really slow. So I think it's only around 500 RPM, um, you know, for the um, for the for the for the drill. If it goes any faster, of course, this is plastic; it would burn up, which of course you don't want to do. So what I was able to do, uh, mark everything, countersink it, and then very slowly drill. And of course, you, you know, we've seen we we've set the depth that we want on this. And this helped us, you know, we didn't want to do this, we didn't want to do this, um, you know, we didn't want to do this, we didn't want to do this. We wanted it to move, um, and we wanted it to, and of course, as you're drilling, you hang on to, you know, the, the skateboard wheel so that it doesn't move either. So, so this is how I was able to do it. And then, of course, you're able to move to the other one, go down, go to the next one, go down, and go to the next one, go down. And in between each of those, I took the vacuum cleaner and I cleaned out all the shavings so that it wouldn't have anything uh, getting messed up on that. So, <clears throat> so that's how I engineered it. It actually took a fair chunk of uh, ingenuity to figure this out, at least on my part. Uh, the idea is simple. The hard part is actually getting a very, very accurate um, hole for everything. So, so that's how I did it, and in the next video I'll show you how it actually works.